I'm Robert. We're going to show you the No Boundaries Nobo 10.6. Sleeps two very comfortably inside, two on the top. You're going to have a lot of fun. Carry all your goodies with you, full camp kitchen and all that good stuff. So hope you enjoy watching. Always go to the end of your door. Let's just drop that all the way down. And this piece right here, we've got some attachments. These are some little leg extenders, and it actually makes it easy to set this thing up. I'm gonna have a couple of detent pins here that you just push down. And what we do is we set it in that little slot, push them down, slide them up, and they lock in place by themselves. Really thoughtful engineering, and they're down. And then we take our ramp extension, and if you notice, it's gonna catch on the bottom, and it kinda rocks and then sets itself up. Really thoughtful, very well laid out. And I can get on here, whatever you need to do, very stout. All right, folks, there's camp kitchens and there's camp kitchens and this Nobo doesn't disappoint. Magnetic latch for that door. We're gonna have this accessory kit here and this is so we can hang things on the door. It's got some nice buckles on it, and these are adjustable straps. So if you need to tighten them up, or if you want to put them on something else, do so. You just simply hang that over the door. Pull it close, and we just adjust those straps a little bit. Now I've got a place for my utensils or whatever. And then these little pull-out pieces here. Well, that's really cool because I've got a little dump tray here. And that's what's going to go on here. I've got my little faucet here, or sprayer, I should say. And that's just going to quick lock onto here. And we've got that. Flip a little lever. Out comes my camp kitchen. Drop my leg over here. right there and then we've got this propane quick connect and that's simple just push and plug and play type of thing right here we're gonna have that Truma cooler our double burner stove top bottle opener of course and the wind guards on the stove and then a place to put some other accessories now this can also be part of your camp kitchen as well these are steel fenders throw your cutting board up here or something and it makes a great space and it's kind of multi-level and such that camp kitchen can basin uh, that works out very well too so i think you'll enjoy all of that here's how easily it is to set back up or to put back up i should say so if you're like my family is you're leaving the campsite in a hurry it does not take long I try to take advantage of every last minute on sunday before the park ranger comes around and tells you it's time to leave all that good stuff. Right there. Put our leg back up. And then the other thing is really cool on here. I'll bring you over here and show you all this. So we've got our camp light in here. We've got a 12 volt right here so if you want to plug something in that normally would work in a, a car 12 volt lighter plug right here you've got your 110 of course your tank here you're going to have your pump you're also going to have your tank monitor and an extra little light all that behind here and that's got its own magnetic latch there really nice folks what do you think let's check this thing out this is going to be my maiden voyage but i bet i do better than most i've probably set up a a million tents. The Rhino Rack Batwing is really neat, very well engineered. And, oh, there we go. Now I'm pretty tall, so I can reach all of this from the ground. This will be our accessory kit, tie downs, and all that. I won't be setting that part up on the concrete today. I don't think that would work so well. All right, let's just go through and unstrap. Unstrap. 
on the strap, let that unfold there, and then we start taking our bat wing out. Now, let's see. Yep. Wow, that's. Man, that's quality right there. That's super simple. Just start unfurling it out. Just give those a little twist and they lock right in place. Man, that is really well thought out. All right. So let's kind of see what happens, folks. You're gonna be become part of the video here, it looks like. And we had a little mishap with the camera there, but no big deal, everything survived. Kind of just set this up as we're going along. Wow. Boy, they ain't talking. <laughs> they are not kidding here. This covers pretty much your whole campsite, folks. Now, it's gonna be a little difficult with the uh, concrete out here, but definitely doable. We get those straps on on the end and that'd hold it taunt. And let's see here. All right. And just for the time being here, I won't have it completely set up and I apologize for that. I know that's kind of cheating, but I'm on concrete, so it's a little difficult. So my apologies, but anyway, we set that all up. That is super simple. Don't forget to stake it down. If it starts raining, let's make sure we pitch one side down. And that's super simple, folks. Let me see if uh, I can get you on the video here. If you want to lower a pole, you literally just twist it down, lower that canopy down, and you're camping. So, all right, folks, I know what you're thinking. Everybody always says, oh, but putting it up is so much harder. So. Let's find out. Let's unstrap that. Start walking my bat wing around here. I'm just gonna kind of walk my poles over as I walk. And then, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna let everything kind of work for me here, not against me. Clip that pole into place. This one over here. And we'll clip this pole into place. We got another pole. And I can see I forgot to shrink the legs before I clipped them up. So let me backtrack just a little bit here. Shouldn't take just a second. And folks, something I saw that was really cool when I unveiled this while ago was the, uh, they give you an accessory kit in case anything happens to the hinges and stuff. So looks like all parts availability should be good on that. All right. Now we've got all this folded material. I can see that accessory bag over here is hanging down. I should have flipped that over the top before I was done. Way pretty much all systems work and these just kind of I think it's a magnet up inside kind of just holds each one of them and then that leaves us with this big triangle here now obviously I don't want too much bulk on one side so we'll get creative here I'll do a triangle fold Fold again. Well, heck, folks, that was actually pretty simple, wasn't it? Let me get up there in that strap. Buckle. That's pretty simple. All right, I think you get the gist. Now, I think I said earlier, I'm pretty tall. So it's pretty easy, but don't forget, we can walk on those fenders. So if you need to get up there, you go right ahead. That is really neat, folks. 
very simple. And then our accessory kit that I was talking about. Where did I put that? I think I stuck it over here. Ha ha, folks. I bet you were laughing at me the whole time. So that's just going to go right up in that pocket. So they've pretty much thought of everything on here. Wow, that's pretty simple, folks. And then take our cover. Let's pull that all down. Make sure everything sets as it should. Now, of course, this is going to be canopy and zipper, and you know that can get dangerous. So always put you something back there to make sure you're not going to zip up your canopy. And then on the end, okay. So tight wrap, Velcro. And then cap the end. I think that was pretty simple, folks. We'll figure it out here in a few moments how long that actually took, but I think you'll agree that bat wing is going to give you a lot of camp space, a lot of bang for your buck. Second challenge of the day. We're doing this completely blind. I've never set this up before. Let's see how easy it actually is. Some buckles and straps. Get up here to the top. Looks like we've got a couple more. see here this just has a series of buckles on it to kind of unstrap this very easy to do buckles on the corners to keep them held down having these steel fenders and such makes it really easy to do pretty much all of this couple of uh, little bungee like straps here that hold our ladder down. I'm gonna undo that here in just a moment. And just toss that on the ground for now. And let me go over to the other side. God, I love those fenders. I'm not going to say this is difficult, folks. It is a little cumbersome, no question about it, but it's very doable. Let's face it, us folks that like campers like this, we built forts and everything else as kids, so we're kind of used to improvise, adapt, and overcome, if you will. All right. So let's just pump this baby over here. I'm not sure how heavy it is, so let me uh, kind of do some looking. Like I said earlier, this is my first try on this one. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. That's doable? No? I don't think so. All right. Completely winging this, folks. Okay. Now, I don't know the weight of that, but folks, I'm short a couple of shoulders here, so just to kind of give you an idea. That is really cool. Really cool. Kind of the truth behind everything. I couldn't find these little bags here. And they're actually, they were just flipped right inside and right in front of my eyes. 
and I couldn't see them. So this is gonna be our hold downs and all of that. And then we've got another one on this side over here that's gonna have the feet for the ladder and all that good stuff. Really very well laid out. It's got a little, it looks like I guess a rain fly here. And I see some little detents over on the side, so that's gonna extend it looks like. All right, so let's go up here. You'll see what I was looking at a while ago. So we have this little rain fly on here. And this just has those simple little detents that you push in. And it started down here. I extended those poles. And then that flips over. We can remove that off if we need to and if it's not going to rain or what have you. But it makes you a little patio cover. Very well laid out. Got a nice cushion here up at the top. And I need to notice this is all Velcroed in. So you can remove that and clean it or what have you. And then you can see that structure and support up underneath. That telescoping ladder right there, that's worth the money right there. And over here. Now I did speak with the rep the other day and he said that we can order that for pretty much anything. Obviously we have to do different ladders and things for different length units or different heights, excuse me. But uh, very, very, very cool. Very easy to set up. It's got the removable rain fly on there, just undo the buckles. Just kind of taking it all in. Like I said, folks, this is the first time I've seen the unit. That is really awesome. And that's labeled as your shoe storage. I'll be darned. Very cool. Well, they'll, what do they think of next, folks? Check this out. <laughs> wow. You gotta admit, that's pretty cool, folks. That works out very easy. Back on the top up here. Ladder's super simple to collapse on these. one more to get up there so very cool get over here All right. and let me climb back over to here and get up top that ladder the rest of the way up. And we're good to go. Kind of tuck your canvases in. Front buckle's done. Corner buckle. We've got another one up front. And second. All right, and I've got one corner buckle left on the other side, and I'll save you that, but not too bad. It took us, what, about five minutes? All right, folks, I'll show you how easy this is to set up. All right, so we've got our bottom cushion here, and it's going to be hinged in the middle. Just drop that down, tuck her under the fire extinguisher. I've got my end pillows, and I know some folks will say we'll set the end pillows up at the top or the front, up by the TV, etc. Well, I kind of feel like if we set them down on the tail end of the trailer, it can be easily removed to climb in and out, etc. Easy to lay down. Pop our little tables out. Same thing over here and go from there. Super simple, folks. How you like that? Watch your television, everything you want to do. Easy to get to your controls for your TV, your air conditioner, pretty much anything you need to do.
What do you think? And all of this is riding on the Kurt Beast Mode suspension. That's going to be new for 2023, and I think it is absolutely fantastic. It's adjustable, meaning that we can actually do an alignment on this, make sure that trailer is always tracking behind you. We have that big coil spring right there, bump stops, and double shocks. That's going to slow the oscillation rate down of that trailing arm. And if you look it up on YouTube, there's a great video of a glass of water in these trailers, and it doesn't even spill a drop. Team that up with some Goodyear Wranglers. Covered underbelly, of course. Those steel fender flares. Even prepped for a solar panel. Manual stabilizer jacks. Has the cold winter weather package on it. Battery disconnect. Tire pressure monitor system. And you're loaded for bear, folks. Five gallon propane tank and a tongue jack with light. And that great camp kitchen. Plenty of space inside. Great views of the television. Lay it out how you want. Have some fun. And I think half the fun was setting it up. Well, folks, that's the Nobo 10.6. It's under 2,300 pounds, measures under 14 feet long. You can pretty much stash it anywhere you want. Sleep two in here comfortably. Sleep another two up in that awesome tent up top. It's about getting out there, making some memories, having a lot of fun. Full camp kitchen, you've got air conditioning. You're set up to go and do what you want to do. But this is more for the adventurer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm old, it took me a little bit to get all this done. I think right now is about 11 o'clock in the morning. I started out here doing videos and helping customers, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so I got it all done, so. But uh, this is a fun trailer. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take all the help I can get. Thanks again, my name is Robert Ortolani. Let's go camping.